explain, Colin, what it meant to be Jeff Bezos's shadow and what that experience was like. Yeah, so I, I was uh, very fortunate to have spent two years working with Jeff as his technical advisor or, or shadow, they called that role in, internally. And uh, when Jeff first asked me if I would like to take the role, my first question was, well, what is it? You know, what is this role and what, you know, what did a success look like? Because I knew it was such an important role that I didn't want to take it if I didn't think I was the right person to, you know, to help in that role. But the way that Jeff put it, is that the first thing was to help him be a better CEO. So I worked a lot with teams who would be coming in to talk with Jeff or afterwards, you know, following up with teams after they had talked with Jeff. But he said the more important thing was a longer term uh, part of the job. And he said, we, by the end of this uh, tenure in the role that we'd be able to model how each other thought about different issues because I would go somewhere else in the company and work relatively autonomously. So I put, you know, I took that, part to heart too. And I would take advantage of all the hallway, you know, uh, dead time and space or if, if we're traveling and have a long list of questions I'd, I'd keep peppering him with and just really um, figure out how he thought about different issues. So really what it looked like, you know, every day uh, he, during that time, he probably got in the office around 10 and left around seven. Um, so, you know, I'd, I'd bookend on either side of the day. And uh, it wasn't just a technical role. So it was really being in the room and participating in everything that Jeff did for those, uh, you know, for those two years. So we got to see uh, a really good uh, broad overview of the, the company and, and then where Jeff spent his time. You know, one of the questions that I often get from lots of CEOs, especially with who are stepped into a big role is like, how should I spend my day? And so, you know, I really asked Jeff a lot of like how a CEO spends his time is one of the most important decisions that you can make. And, um, you know, Jeff gave me some good insights on how, how he viewed that and then also how he wanted to scale the company so people could make decisions when he wasn't in the room that, you know, he, he'd be happy with. I hope you enjoyed this Brainfluence Brief. If you didn't, help me out by telling me why in a comment. But if you did find some value, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. The full episode is available on YouTube and audio outlets like Apple, Spotify, and Google. Visit rogerdooley.com slash podcast for a formatted text version plus links and other resources. Thanks for tuning in.